Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hey, hi, welcome, come in. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff, does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is <laughs> done with nail stuff and stuff with nails. I hope you are all doing fabulously. We have a sponsor for today's video uh, and they have sent me something very special in the post. It's from Melody Susie and they have sent me the Scamander or Bring Your Beauty Salon Home. Already have. Um, so it's the Scamander, 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 Scamander. Um, rechargeable nail drill. Uh, so I'm going to open it up with you and show you it and we'll have a look at it um, and we'll use it. I'm going to do my own nails. I know you've all been asking for me to do a video of this. So here it is. Um, so this is, this is gorgeous. I am very impressed by this. Straight off the bat, it is gorgeous to look at. It's clean and crisp and white, which suits everything on my desk. Nice and sterile looking. Um, it's got a really nice weight to it. It's not too light. Um, but it's not heavy either um, and it's got this little um, little holster thing so you can be like a cowboy or a cowgirl nail tech. Um, we have the on off button um, and twister nozzle there and then the so it's rechargeable so it's got some power in it um, as soon as it arrived it goes up to 30k rpm and it has a little battery icon so you can see how much battery you've got left and then you've got the forward and reverse and then it tells you on the front um on the screen which one you're in as well so i will have a i do have a discount code for you which we'll get to in a sec uh, and i'll put a link to this in the description um but as i say straight away you can feel that it's really good quality um, i wouldn't tell you about it if i didn't think it was so now we'll look at what else came in the box um, it's nicely packaged. There's no like excess packaging, which I really like when companies do. I hate it when things arrive with just a ton of extra unnecessary packaging. Um, so this is a little stand for the handle. Um, and then I thought, I wonder if this would rest in there, which it kind of does, but it, that's not what it's for. <laughs> I'm aware of this. Um, and then we have this. Oh, what is this? I don't know. So I looked on here. There's a little, oh, there's a little thing there and you push it in and then it clicks down and you can have um, a little nail drill shoot off um, because that's where you put the handle and then you take it out and pew, 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 funny people's nails. Um, so that, I love that. I love things like that. It's just cute and awesome. Uh, so we've got the power cord. It came with some drill bits um, and a mandrill with some sanding bands. And then in this box is the handle, which is nice and silver. And again, it's not um, it's not really heavy, but it's not super light. Um, I know I showed you another nail drill before, but a girl can never have too many options. Um, so it's got their logo on, really like their logo. Um, and then it's got a lock and an unlock. So we'll unlock it um, and put in a bit and see what it's like. Oh, I had to try it out in its little holster. <gasps> I kind of just want to wear it as an accessory. I won't, but it makes me want to. I just, I don't know, I really liked that feature. <laughs> I just thought it was really funky. Um, so that is that. We'll put a sanding bit in. Um, I had already used it before showing you because I, I messed, the camera was all blurred, so I had to do it again. Um, but this is the bottom of it, uh, in case anybody wants to know those details. Um, it's made in Germany. No wonder it's good and, you know, feels like a proper, solid, um, well-engineered piece of equipment. You can always trust Germany for some good products. Um, and that is where the um, cable goes for your... What's the word? Handle? Are they called handles? That's what I call them. <laughs> and I'm going to put the uh, mandrel in the end and then lock it into place. And then, oh, I thought I'd show you what it sounds like. So I'm going to shut up and just let you listen to uh, the sound of it from zero right up to the top one. I do hold it close to the microphone, so bear that in mind. But I'll shut my pie hole and let you listen. It 
it feels, I think, is this a fan? Or is it just blowing air because it's, it's a little, like a little fan thing going on. So that's, you know, loud as you would expect on the highest setting. But on say, yeah, it doesn't really start to get noisy, noisy until about 20. So I don't think I would ever have it at a speed that would be annoyingly noisy or anything like that. At any speed, the speed that I do mine with um, in this video was not noisy at all. Um, but it doesn't vibrate too much in your hand either, um, which is good because my hands are we all know this. Um, so anything that doesn't vibrate too much in my hand is great. Um, yes. Uh, and I was just looking, that's when I read that it was made in Germany and thought, no wonder it's good solid stuff. Um, so that rests in there and, or whichever way, pick away. Um, and then it goes in its little house. Oh, it's its little house next to its buddy, next to its battery buddy. And I've seen, um, who has this? Um, Susie from Nail Career Education has one of these and that, that makes me happy that she has one as well. Um, so I will, as I say, I'll put the link in the description below um, and the discount code is Joe K um, as it's appearing on screen here. Um, what's the K for? Don't know. <laughs> um, but that's that. So I'm going to file my nails, which like you can see I've already done. Uh, I've already filmed this bit, um, but I don't tend to use them on myself. So just because I'm not very good at using them on myself. So don't judge my technique, but we'll we'll start doing that. Um, so I've just put a standing band on. Um, and I must admit, it was really comfortable to hold, um, which was nice. And obviously, oh, look, bye, David. Bye, David. Love you. Um, and I will be showing you me painting the new message on my thumbnail, which I've never done before. So stick around for that. Um, but yes, the, the bits, um, what, what was I saying about the bits? Mm, can't remember. Oh yes. Um, most, um, e-files will have like a sort of universal slot for the bits. So, you know, you can put whatever bits you want in there. Um, so I'm just starting, just taking off the, um, shine from, uh, the nails I have on. I did grow my nails, which you might've noticed in the recent videos, um, and they would only grow rounded, not square. Um, cause I, I, if I have long nails, I do them coffin shape, but, um, they only seem to grow without breaking in a rounded shape. But then I broke two and thought, right, that's it to sign. They're all coming off. So they're short and square again. <laughs> so I'm just using this sanding bit to take off the shine and then I will, um, wrap them and do the removal, um, because it's a soak off gel polish. So not a gel polish, sorry. It's a soak off builder gel. Um, the builder in a bottle from Diamond Glitters and Gel Perfection. Um, so carrying on with this. And I know lots of you have asked for videos of me doing my nails. Probably you meant me doing nail art on myself. There is a little bit of nail art in this on my thumb, but I don't tend to um, wear much on me and I just wasn't in the mood to do loads of nail art on myself. I will one day, I promise. So I'm dusting it off because it's nice and new and shiny and it was covered in dust. Um, so that is a little screenshot of it. It's really nice, I really like it. It just feels really good quality, which is obviously the most important part of uh, equipment like that, but it is also really nice um, to look at, um, especially with this little holster. Um, so I'm really happy to have it and thank you to Melody Susie for sponsoring this video and sending me that. Um, so I've now wrapped my nails with um, some foil wraps and some acetone. The acetone I showed you in the bottle isn't actually what's in there. That's just um, an old bottle and I buy my acetone and isopropyl alcohol from a lab supply company. Um, I think it's from Amazon. Um, it's called... Oh, I'll, I'll find out if I can find it. I'll put a link to it because it's just much cheaper because it's not in a, a nail brand bottle um, and it's about a quarter of the price. Uh, so I'm doing some prep now. I normally do one hand at a time. So I was struggling to hold this because I had some foils on um, my other hand, which I don't normally do. So I've pushed my cuticles back and kind of lifted them up and then I pull them back down so that I can get under and take the uh, cuticle nippers Oh, that one, that nail's off on my left hand. Oh, my thumb just needed a bit longer. Um, so I'm not actually ripping it like it looks. The nippers are really sharp. So the second I press them together, it's, it's cut. It's not clucked, 
it's not a chicken. Um, and then I'm taking, I know you're not allowed to do this in some countries, are you? Cut this bit here, but there's f all laws for nail stuff in the UK. Um, and they're my damn nails. So even if there were, were laws, I'd still be doing my cuticles like this. I want all the, I mean, is that bit living? I don't know. It's just flappy, flappy skin. And I don't want flappy skin. I like to push it back, lift it up, get underneath it, then pull the flappy bit back down. I know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> but the flappy bit just sounds better. Um, the proximal fold um, and the eponychium. Uh, and pull that down and then just cut that shit off. I don't want it on there. So I've done that. I've used a file just to take off any sort of um, remaining bits of gel. Uh, and now I'm using a buffer block to make it all nice and smooth. And then I'm going to just get under that cuticle again and get out any bits, um, just sort of loose buffing um, debris. Just using my little cuticle stick. I don't use metal tools. Um, on nails much really I certainly don't use metal metal cuticle pushers or anything like that um, so I'm taking the same file that I used to um, buff off any sort of gel that hadn't come off with the wrap um, and this is a really old tatty file and they're the kind of they're my favorite when they get to this point when they're a bit old and tatty I have clients have their own um, separate bags with their files in so I can use them again um, and I like it when they get to that stage where they're a bit worn because you can file the, na the uh, nail plate with it without doing any damage. Uh, I've built up the free edge on that middle nail on the right hand, although the ones on the other hand are shorter. It's now longer than the rest um, because it was really short, but I forgot to pinch it. So it's just wide now, um, but it'll do. It'll do, donkey. So I've wiped everything with some isopropyl alcohol, um, which has just dehydrated it. And I'm going straight in with the first base, um, which is a job perfection polish, as are all the polishes in this video. And you can get them at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. Um, you don't need to use a primer with this because it's built into the base coat. Um, so I'm just pulling back um, the pad under my nail um, and pulling back the hyponychium and then just capping the free edge. And I'm now taking Bluebell, which is a new colour. And I am going to show you all the good, lovely newbies I've got soon. Um, but this is Bluebell. I love this colour. I never normally wear this sort of colour, which you'll know if you watch the videos. They're either just plain builder gel or they're kind of burgundy or black. Um, but I thought, go out your comfort zone. You know, this will be more interesting for people to watch. So I'm doing blue. I must admit, once I'd finished, I was like, ah, oh, this is just isn't me with blue nails. But that was a couple of days ago and I'm starting to kind of feel all right with it. Uh, so this is um, the first coat and I'm getting as close as I can to the cuticle. And because I did sort of some vigorous um, cuticle prep, um, I can get nice and close to it without touching any skin or any cuticle and I take so I plonk some on and then you see I sort of push it up and that kind of creates this sort of pillow of gel that you just push up to it and where it is so smooth around the cuticle area um, the nail plate where we've got all the debris off there's no bumps there's no dust there's no cuticle on the nail you don't you get a nice clean cuticle line because there's nothing interrupting the flow of this little pillow of gel so it just goes nicely up nice and close and uh, you get a nice neat line and then I'm capping the free edge just sort of pushing my thumb forward on the um, on the lid that I'm resting on to push back the pad uh, so I can get a cap on it and now I am I've done two coats and I'm using diamond gloss of course of course uh, to top them with I didn't do all of them because it's just me painting nails. Is it? Did, do you want to see all of them being done? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you really do want to watch me paint all 10 nails <laughs> the same. Uh, so I'm now going to do my thumbnail that always has a little message on. Uh, and it doesn't look like what it's meant to look like straight away. Because when I do letters, I do... Like if they've got a line through them or a line next to them, you'll see in a sec. Then I don't do that at first because I don't want it to sort of all blob together. 
So I do part of the letter first um, and then any bits that will be joined up to it, I do afterwards. So at the moment it says Rolk in LHC, but that's not what it's going to say in a sec. So now I'll add the little, oh, f that up. Um, add, add the bits that are next to the other bits so that there's less time for them to become one bit. Uh, so then I will cure that. Um, the nail's buffed because I completely forgot about doing this, so I had to buff where I'd already topped it. And then I'm going to draw something here. And normally I just have words, but now I'm having a drawing. Maybe I'll start having drawings on the nails as well. Um, and I'll let, you, I'll let you see if you can figure out what it is. And if you know what, let me know if you know what this is from. Or let me know if you don't know. Um, because if you don't know, then you need to know, <laughs> which you'll which you'll understand if you do know. So I'm just going to fill that in and cure it, and then finish off painting this little picture here. Um, thank you all so much for your comments on the 30 second video I posted yesterday of Dexter just being an absolute wally. Um, <laughs> he's such a goober. <laughs> Um, there were some funny comments with people's dog stories that do, do similar stupid things like my dog. Um, and let me know if you want to see more little short clips of, of Dexter Dog, um, because I've got a million of them, of him being stupid and doing silly things. So I'll post more of those if, if that's of interest to anyone. Um, with regards to in the last video where I said I watched a nail video and the person would say like a couple of things and then be silent for minutes, we had a, we had a comment from Tessa Betts that says, I've fallen asleep watching those videos and screamed when they started talking. <laughs> Just asleep, drifting off. La, 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 la. And now we're going in with a pink! <laughs> Came in for a nail tutorial, not a f***ing heart attack. <laughs> Um, but yes, a lot of you were saying no, not not to have silent bits in my videos. Um, I don't think that will ever happen because I can't shut up. <laughs> uh, but it also gives haters the opportunity to complain that I talk during a tutorial or that I laugh when things are funny. And, you know, we've got to have the haters for our lovers and haters section, which we don't have today um, because we haven't had a hater. But I should probably just start doing lovers and lovers for when there's no hater but I'm sure there'll be one along soon um I got into a row well I didn't get into it it was a very short argument because um there was only one right answer mine <laughs> uh, with someone on the internet the other day I left a comment on something not a bad not a negative comment I don't do that um it was not an opinion either it was just a comment and someone said and I used the word center c-e-n-t-r-e and someone said, it's C-E-N-T-E-R, you're an idiot. Now, they spelt your Y-O-U-R. So the irony was lo was clearly lost on them. Um, and I said, well, not, not where I'm from, it's not. And they said, well, I speak American English, which is the correct English. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> I'm, I'm English, from England. We speak English, English. <laughs> Oh, I should have put, I should have screenshot it and put it on here, but I, I corrected them. Um, I don't know. They maybe just didn't realize that other countries that speak English don't spell things the same um, or that English um, originated with the English. <laughs> um, trying to come at me for my spelling and then spelling something wrong themselves. Just no. Um here we go. Here's my here's my nails. Uh, they are blue. Yeah. And I have nail art. So technically, you've seen me do my nails and I've done nail art. So check that box. Done. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Um, if you are thinking about um, an e-file or a new e-file, I 100% recommend this um, Scamanda by Melody Susie. It's really nice. Uh, it, it's good quality. It looks nice. It feels nice. And it works fabulously. So big thumbs up for that. And thank you for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.